Hello, third grade. Since we can't be in the school right now and we can't go to the library, I will be reading you books every week until we can get back in. So I've chosen the series that a lot of you have been reading, My Weird School Days. The first one we're going to read is, of course, my favorite one, Miss Mary is Scary. This book doesn't have any pictures, unfortunately. Just words. A ghost in the bathroom. My name is AJ, and I hate school. It was a couple of weeks before Halloween, which is the coolest holiday of the year. We get to wear our costumes to school on Halloween and have a big candy party. At the end of the day, we parade around the block with all the parents watching. Marching in a parade is way better than watching a parade because you don't have to stand in one place for a million hundred hours. Hang up your coats in the coat room, my teacher said. What a weird name for a room, cloak room. Who wears a cloak? I don't even know what a cloak is. After we finished circle time and world of the day, Mr. Granite told us to take our math books and turn to page 23. Can I go to the bathroom, I asked. Do you really need to, AJ, Mr. Grant asked. Yes, I didn't really need to go to the bathroom. Sometimes I go to the bathroom even though I don't have to. Like when Mr. Granite is teaching math. I hate math. Math is the perfect time to go to the bathroom. Arlo doesn't need to go to the bathroom, said Andrea Young. This annoying girl with curly brown hair. She call, calls me by my real name because she knows I don't like it. I do too. Do not. We went back and forth like that for a while. But the teachers have to let you go to the bathroom. It's the law. If they don't let you go to the bathroom, they have to go to jail. Go ahead, AJ, Mr. Granite grumbled. The boys' bathroom is haunted, you know, whispered my friend Ryan. I heard there's a ghost in there. Hey, watch out for the ghost, said my friend Michael. He eats kids for lunch. That's ridiculous. There's no such thing as a ghost. And even if there were ghosts, they wouldn't go to the bathroom. They don't have to. Even if ghosts did have to go to the bathroom, they wouldn't haunt one. Ghosts haunt graveyards and basements and old houses of people who died. Not bathrooms. Everybody knows that. I'm not afraid of ghosts. Still, I was going to be careful just to be on the safe side. I walked down the hall and pu pushed open the door. Anybody in here? I asked. Nobody answered. I sat down in one of the stalls. There was nothing to do, but it was better than learning math. That's when something really weird happened. The toilet in the stall next to me flushed. Who's there? I asked in alarm. Nobody answered. I peeked under the stalls to see who was in there. Nobody. Are you a ghost? I asked. The ghost didn't answer. Maybe it was invisible. I picked up the extra roll of toilet paper in case I had to hit the invisible ghost over the head with it. That's when something even weirder happened. The toilet on the other side of me flushed. Who is that? I demanded. Nobody answered. I peeked under the stall. Nobody was there. This was really weird. Maybe there were two invisible ghosts and they had me surrounded. I was scared. I wanted to run away to Antarctica and live with the penguins. But that's when the weirdest thing in history of the world happened. The toilet I was sitting on flushed. Ah, I got up and ran out of the stall. Then I ran past the sinks and they turned on. Then I ran past the hand dryer and it turned on. Help, I screamed as I ran out the door. 
There are ghosts in there. <clears throat> I ran back to the class and shouted, There are ghosts in the bathroom. Help. Calm down, AJ, Mr. Granite told me. What happened? I was in the stall, I explained, and the toilet to my left flushed all by itself. Then the toilet to my right flushed all by itself. Then the toilet I was sitting on flushed all by itself. And the sinks and the hand, hand dryer turned on too, but nobody was there. It must be ghosts. The bathroom is haunted. Run for your lives. Everybody started freaking out, yelling, screaming, and crying. That's when our custodian, Miss Laser, came in. There are no ghosts in the bathroom, Miss Laser said. I recently installed automatic sinks, hand dryers, and toilets to save water and electricity. I was just testing them to see if they would work. Oh, well, maybe there aren't any ghosts in the bathroom after all, but I'm not going in there again for the rest of my life. The new student teacher. Mr. Granite told us that it was his idea to install the new water-saving toilets. Every time you flush a toilet, he said, you use up to five gallons of water. So five flushes a day would be five times five. Twenty-five gallons of water a day. Mr. Granite loved math. And that adds up to 175 gallons a week. Mr. Granite continued, and 9,100 gallons a year. And do you know how many gallons of water you flush down the toilet in your lifetime? He didn't have a chance to answer that question because at that moment, the weirdest thing in the history of the world happened. The door opened. Well, that's not the weird part because doors open all the time. But you'll never believe who walked in the door. Nobody because if you walked into a door, it would hurt. But you'll never believe who walked into the doorway. To our surprise, it was our principal, Mr. Klutz. He had no hair at all. I think Mr. Klutz used to have hair, but it fell out a long time ago. That's what happens when men get old. He held up his hand and made a peace sign, which means shut up. I have big news, he told us. Mr. Klutz has a big nose, I whispered to Ryan, who sat next to me. What is it? asked Andrew, Andrea's crybaby friend, Emily. You're going to get a student teacher, Mr. Klutz announced. Isn't that exciting? Yes, said all the girls. No, said all the boys. Wait a minute. Student teacher? That doesn't make any sense. How can a student be a teacher, I asked, or a teacher be a student? A person can either be a student or a teacher, but not both. A student teacher is someone who's learning how to be a teacher, dumbhead, said Andrea. Oh, snap, said Ryan. So is your face, I told Andrea. Anytime somebody says something mean to you and you can't think of what to say, just say, so is your face. That's the first rule of being a kid. What is our student teacher's name? Andrea asked. When will we meet her? Right now, said Mr. Klutz. Come on in here, Mary. Don't be shy. Kids, this is your new student, student teacher, Miss Mary. A lady came in. She looked weird. She had black hair, black clothes, black eye makeup and a tattoo of a black bat on her arm. There was a purple streak in her hair. She had holes in her pants and earbuds in her ears. She was chewing gum and bobbing her head up and down to the music. Mr. Granite didn't look very happy when he saw Miss Mary. Yo, she said as she took one of her earbuds out. What's up? Yo, we all answered. Miss Mary is going to be a great teacher, Mr. Klux told us. 
Do you know how I know she'll be so good? How, we all asked. Because, Mr. Cluck said as he put his arm around her, Mary is my daughter. What? Mr. Klutz had a daughter? I knew he was married to a lady named Mrs. Klutz, but I didn't know they had any kids. Mr. Klutz told us that a long time ago, before he was married to Mrs. Klutz, he was married to some other lady in England, and they had a baby. So Miss Mary grew up in England and came to America for a year to do her student teaching. Isn't she lovely? Yes, we all lied. Nobody wanted to tell Mr. Klutz that his daughter looked weird. Well, I have to go to a meeting, Mr. Klutz said. Mary, I'm so glad you decided to become a teacher and help educate the youth of America so they can pursue their hopes and dreams. Yeah, whatever, said Miss Mary. I'll stop back in a little while to see how you're making out, Mr. Klutz said before he left. Ugh disgusting Mr. Klutz making out Mr. Granite had a frowny face he looked like he didn't want to have a student teacher so Miss Mary he said what made you decide to become a teacher well it's like the kids you know she said they're so I don't know kid like you know yeah when you're a teacher you get the summer off right that's cool People from England talk funny. Miss Mary sounded like she should be in a Harry Potter movie. Yes, I do get the summers off, Mr. Granite said. Most people become teachers for other reasons. He didn't get the chance to finish his sentence because suddenly loud music started playing. Everyone looked around to see where it was coming from. Hang on, Miss Mary said. It's my bloody cell phone. Your cell phone is covered in blood, I asked. I gotta take this, Mary said. It's my boyfriend, Zach. Mr. Granite looked mad. Cell phones aren't allowed in the school. But I guess he couldn't do anything about it because Miss Mary was Mr. Klutz's daughter. Yo, what up, dude? Miss Mary said in the phone. Yeah, I'm at Daddy's school. I miss you too, Zach. Okay, gotta go. Later. Are you quite finished? asked Mr. Granite. I'd like to do our math lesson. Yeah, Miss Mary said. Zack is back home in England. He says he's coming over here even though his parents don't like me. Gee, I wonder why, Mr. Granite said. Okay, open your math books to page 23, shall we? We all opened our math books. Zack is in an awesome band called Fish Food, Miss Mary said. They totally rock. Music is my favorite thing, said Andrea. I love the Jonas Brothers. Me too, said Emily, who loves everything that Andrea loves. Zack is into heavy metal, Miss Mary said. He wears a suit of armor, I asked. Heavy metal is a kind of band, dumbhead, said Andrea, rolling her eyes. I knew that, I lied. Zack is a genius, Miss Mary said. He'll be famous someday. We want to get married, but Daddy won't let us. He says Zack can't earn a living by playing music. Mr. Granite's face was all red. He doesn't like it when we get off task, but it didn't matter, because then something really weird ha happened. A guy climbed in the window. Everybody was freaking out. The guy was dressed all in black, just like Mary. Zack, yelled Miss Mary. Mary, yelled Zack. I thought you called from England, Miss Mary said. No, I was right around the corner, said Jack. I love you. I love you too. Ugh. They said the L word. Miss Mary and Zack started smooching. I thought I was going to throw up. Isn't it romantic, said Andrea. 
Zack and Miss Mary are in love, but their parents won't let them be together. It's just like Romeo and Juliet. This is strictly against school rules, Mr. Granite said. Please don't tell Daddy that Zack is here, Mary begged Mr. Granite. Please? Suddenly, there was a sound of footsteps outside the door. It's Mr. Klutz, shouted R Ryan. Hide, Zack, said Miss Mary. Where, said Zack, in the cloakroom, Mr. Granite told him. Zack ran into the cloakroom and shut the door. Mr. Klutz came into the room. So, he said, how are you making out, Mary? Ugh, disgusting, I said. I'm making out just fine, Daddy, Miss Mary said. Good, I'll check up on you later. Whew, that was a close one. After Mr. Klutz left, Zack came out of the cloakroom. Thanks, dude, said Mr. Granite. If old man Klutz finds out I'm here with Mary, he'll have my bloody head. I don't see any blood on your head, I told Zack. People in England say the word bloody all the time, Arlo, Andrea told me. Zack just means that Mr. Klutz will be angry if he finds him here with Miss Mary. That's sure, sure a weird way to say that. I thought people in England were always saying, chip, chip, cheerio, old chap said Michael. I saw that in a movie. Nobody ever says chip chip cheerio, said Mary. I guess we have a lot to learn about England. Does everybody in England dress like you two, asked Ryan, or are those your Halloween costumes? This is how I always dress, said Zack. My favorite color is black. Mine too, said Miss Mary. I love black spiders and insects. They're my friends. Back home, I have a black bat named Roger. Miss Mary is scary. Black isn't even a color, said Neil, who we all ca called nude kid, even though he wears his clothes. How did your pants get ripped like that? Asked Emily. Did you get caught climbing a fence? No, I used a pair of scissors, said Mary. Don't my pants look fierce? I could darn them for you, Andrea said. I took a sewing class after school last year. No thanks, said Zack and Miss Mary. Maybe you'd like to tell the children a little bit about what life is like in England, suggested Mr. Granite. We all crowded around Miss Mary and Zack. Well, my friends and I really love to go bog snorkeling, Zack said. Bog snorkeling? Asked Neil, what's that? It's when you snorkel through a bog, Zack told us. My friends and I love cheese rolling, said Miss Mary. Let me guess. You roll cheese. Yes, said Miss Mary. It happens on the spring bank holiday. The cheese roller will roll a round of cheese down a hill and we all chase it. The winner is the first person to grab the cheese. It sounds dangerous, said Andrea. Oh, it is. One time I got a bloody nose. But your nose wasn't really bloody, I asked. You just say the word bloody all the time. No, my nose really was bloody, Miss Mary said. Of course it was bloody, Arlo, Andrea told me. I guess if it wasn't bloody, Miss Mary would have just gotten a nose. And that wouldn't have made any sense. We can't get a nose. Everybody already has a nose. I was confused. Hey, I got a split man, said Zack. I'm working on a new song for my band, Fish Food. Oh, what's the song called? It's called I Love Dirt, Zack replied. What? Who writes songs about dirt? Dirt. Zack climbed out the window and left. People from England are weird. The next morning, Halloween decorations were up in the hallway. I came into the class and hung up my coat in the cloakroom. Miss Mary was sitting in the back of the class. We usually have word of the day first thing in the morning, but Mr. Grant said we could skip that so we could do math since we missed the lesson the day before. Open your math books to page 23, Mr. 
Granite told us, but suddenly he stopped, looked at Miss Mary, and asked, What are you doing? We all looked at Miss Mary. She was holding her cell phone. I'm texting Zach, she said. He just told me I Love Dirt is going to be the best song he ever wrote, and he's dedicating it to me. I can't wait to hear it. That's so romantic, said Andrea. Turn off your cell phone in school, please, said Mr. Granite. He looked all flustered. That's when the announcement came over the loudspeaker. Mr. Granite, please come to the office. Another interruption, he said. We may never get to math. Miss Mary, will you take over the class while I'm gone? He went rushing out of the room. We all looked at Miss Mary. So, what do you want to learn, she asked. We don't want to learn anything, I told her. We want to go to recess. It's not time for recess, Arlo, Andrea said, rolling her eyes. I can teach you how to play cricket, said Miss Mary. You play with crickets? That's disgusting. Cricket is a game, Arlo, Andrea said, rolling her eyes again. They play it in England. Your face is a game, I told her. Can you show us where England is on the map, asked Emily. Oh, sure, Miss Mary said, going to the map on the wall. Let's see, where is that bloody country? The country is bloody, I asked. Miss Mary looked all over, but she couldn't find England. It's her own country. She's almost as dumb as the teacher hat we had last year, Miss Daisy. I'll show you, said Andrea, as she hopped out of her seat and pointed to the map. It's right there. England looks a little like a microscope. See? Very good, Andrea, said Miss Mary. Little Miss Smarty Pants smiled her know-it-all smile. Why can't a microphone fall on her head? What do people eat in England? asked Ryan, who will eat anything, even stuff that isn't food. I love blood pudding, said Miss Mary. You make pudding out of blood, I asked. Ew, everyone went. Blood pur pudding is a kind of sausage, said Miss Mary. You should call it sausage, said Michael. I also love fish and chips, Miss Mary said, and bangers and mash. Bangers? What's a banger? It's a kind of sausage, too, Miss Mary told us. Why don't you just call it sausage, I suggested. People sure eat a lot of sausage in England. Well, what do you Americans like to eat, Miss Mary said. I like hot dogs, said Michael. You heat up dogs and eat them, asked Miss Mary. How horrid. In England, dogs are our pets. We would never eat them. No, I told her. We don't eat dogs here either. A hot dog is sort of like a sausage. Then why don't you call it a sausage, said Miss Mary. Beats me, I said. I guess everybody likes sausage, said Ryan, but nobody wants to call it sausage. Say, can I tell you kids a secret, asked Miss Mary. Yeah, we all shouted. We love secrets. Promise not to tell, asked Miss Mary. We promise. I don't really want to be a teacher. I want to go on tour with Zach and his band, but don't tell Daddy. He'll be so disappointed. We won't tell, we all promised. I couldn't blame Miss Mary for not wanting to be a teacher. Who would want to go to school for the rest of their life? When I grow up, I'm not going anywhere near a school. Suddenly, the most amazing thing in the history of the world happened. Zack climbed in our window. Zack! Mary! They started smooching. Ugh, disgusting. Can I hear your song, I Love Dirt? Miss Mary asked. Not yet, Zack replied. It's not finished. But I want to hear it now. Soon, sweetie, soon. Boo-hoo! Miss Mary started crying. Her black eye makeup was running down her face. Suddenly, there were footsteps in the hall. It might be Mr. Klutz, yelled Neil, the nude kid. Hide, Zack, Ryan shouted. 
Where? In the bloody cloakroom, said Michael. There's blood in the cloakroom, I asked. Zack ran into the cloakroom. As it turned out, the footsteps weren't Mr. Klutz at all. It was Mr. Granite back from the office. You can come out now, Zack, said Miss Mary. Zack came out of the cloakroom. What are you doing here again? Mr. Granite asked. I was worried about Mary, Zack said. She wasn't answering her cell phone. He made me turn it off, Mary said. I'm glad you're okay. Look, I got to get back to work. The song is almost done. Maybe now I can finally teach some math around here, Mr. Granite said. Bye, Zack, said Mary. Later, Zack said as he climbed out the window. So what did you learn while I was gone, Mr. Granite asked. We learned that in England they play with crickets and they make pudding out of blood. We're now halfway through the book, so I'll stop for today, and then I will read the rest of the book for you for the next time I'm on. Bye.